This is my most popular design. It is a business card embosser. Let me show you how it works. Oops. Let's try it once again. This is not a business card, but for demonstration purposes, it works. You can emboss the pattern that is on the rollers into your card. So I almost every single day I get an, an email of, or a message of someone asking me if I can create a custom roller for them with their logo or with, I don't know, some text or whatever. So I decided to create a tutorial. This video will be a tutorial showing you how to create your own. Um, you will need to download the Fusion 360 files that I am going to link in the description. And well, let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so in order to be able to create your own rollers, first you will need an SVG file. This is a vector file that contains your pattern. So I'm gonna provide you with an SVG file that you can modify, it has the appropriate size, but you will need some program like Adobe Illustrator or maybe Inkscape, which is the program I'm using right now, uh, to edit and create your own pattern. So this is our, our pattern. Right now we're going to create the, the linings and I already saved this, this pattern as an SVG file. So now I'm gonna jump into Fusion 360 and I'm gonna show you the whole process of making your own rollers. Okay, when you open the Fusion 360 project, this is what you will see. You will see a roller with a, a, a bicep emoji pattern and we will need to, first of all, modify the, the pattern. For that, we're going to go here, right here to step one, design, right click, edit sketch. We will select everything. Wait, I select it again and we're gonna delete everything. I just pressed delete on my keyboard and the, the old pattern is gonna disappear. And then we're going to go right here, insert SBG. I'm going to select the new pattern, pattern lightning. As you can see, the pattern is rotated. I will rotate it, make it bigger. Mm. Something like that, I press OK. OK, so now there's another important step we need to do and we are going to offset every single lining and also these squares. You don't need to have these squares if you don't want to. This is my design. I use this line to understand where where my business card starts every time I, I embossed one of them, but you don't need it. So, OK, now we're going to use a tool called Offset. Okay, so the offset tool is right here. Also, you can press the O on the keyboard. And if I press O and select my, my lining, I can offset the lining. We're going to offset the lining to the outside because if we move these, we can also offset it to the inside and always to the outside and 0.3 millimeters. We need to do this for every single lining and for all these squares. So I'm gonna speed up the process, but it takes a few minutes. Now that everything has an offset, we can finish our sketch. And now the program is gonna freak out a little bit because it will basically tell me, hey, the, the old pattern, the bicep pattern is missing. What has happened and we need to correct that. We're gonna do it right here. Now, right now we're doing step two. So right click, edit feature. And now we're gonna select every single lining and square in my case. Adjust the inside, not the offset part. We're gonna select everything. We're gonna change this to join, right here, join. And we're gonna give it a positive 0.5 value and press OK. Right now we created our first roller. Remember, these are two rollers. This is our first one and we are in conditions of exporting the roller. So right now we can go right here to utilities, make, we select the roller. If this is checked, 
you will need to uncheck it press ok and now we can document for example roller a we can export the roller roller a okay okay for roller b we need to once again come to step two step four because the exporting of the of the first roller was step three so right now we're doing step four right click edit feature uh, let me rotate the camera and now we're going to select everything that's unselected okay more no three more okay so everything is selected now we're going to select cut another negative distance so this will cut into the the rectangle right here we press ok <coughs> And this is our negative roller. This is the negative part of our roller. But there's still one more step right here. If you see step five rotation, we need to select it and press delete on your keyboard. This will rotate the gear. And now both of the gears will mesh correctly. Now we can finally export. So again, utilities, make, we select, export, roller, sorry, roller, B. And that's it. Everything you, you need to do using Fusion 360. Now I'm going to show you because there's one more step in our slicer. When we export both of our models, we cannot start printing right away. First, we need to do something. We're going to grab the roller B. We're going to mirror it along the X axis. And now, when the rollers are assembled together, the pattern will match so now we are ready to 3d print and then let me show you how we are going to put supports on both of these rollers you don't need supports everywhere you just need in a few spots and i'll show you where before showing you where we're going to place the supports they are there are two important settings that you need to consider the first one is the layer height it has to be 0 0.2 this is enough to get um, good details and to get a good embossing pattern. And the other one is the seam position. Your seam position should be aligned. You don't want to use random or nearest, just use aligned and it, and it will work just fine. Okay, so now, supports. We're gonna grab one of our two parts and we're gonna paint supports. Prusia Slicer has this really handy feature that allows you to paint supports, but it also has one feature in particular, Smart Fill, where you can select surfaces, and everything that is blue will get supported. And this is all we need. These two surfaces are all we need to support for this print to come out super, super nice. So let's do it for the other roller. Okay, and now we're gonna slice it, and you'll see this is the supports we're getting and this will work perfectly fine you don't need more supports you don't need to support the top gear or anything else so okay now we are um, ready to print okay let's remove the supports this should be fairly easy let's see i'm gonna try some pliers Almost there, okay. Yep, oh, there we go. Supports removed. Now that we have everything, we are going to assemble it. So, first, we need to make these rollers match. Let's see, I think no. Right there. There we go. It is assembled now, and now we're gonna try it with a random business card I found on my fridge. Okay, so. I think right there is perfect. I'm gonna place it here. 
I'm gonna start rolling. You need to press firmly and ta -da! this is what we get. And well, if you guys enjoyed this project, you know, you can download the files and make your own custom rollers. Oh, and by the way, if you like this project, but you don't want to create your own custom rollers, I have um, I have this design for sale on, at Colts 3D. You have like 14 different patterns to choose from. So I'm going to I'm going to show you the patterns here right now. But you will find the link in the description if you want to download all those patterns and of course the frame to hold the patterns. And finally, guys, last message. If you like what I do, if you like this kind of project, maybe consider subscribing. I will be posting a lot, a lot more projects this year. This is a new channel and I have a lot of ideas, so stay tuned. And if you want to sell prints of what I do, you can also support me on my Patreon. Everything for my Patreon um, subscribers is free. Every single model I create, uh, whether it's free or, or it's been sold, um, on Code 3D, for example, you're going to get it for free. Okay, bye-bye.